everyone! So today I'm here to review the Urban Decay Naked Flushed Palette. It retails for $30 US, $35 in Canada, and includes a bronzer, highlighter, and blush. All smushed together in one little compact, they equal 0.49 ounces. I know that this palette has been out for a little over a year and a half now, but someone requested that I do a review. They said that they hadn't really seen much word or many thoughts and opinions and reviews on the palette itself. But me personally, I love this palette, at least the highlighter. A coworker of mine showed up to work one day wearing it on her cheeks and I just couldn't stop commenting on it. I absolutely adored her highlight. It was beautiful. So needless to say, by the end of the day, the palette was mine. I had owned it and bought it and loved it. So with that said, I have owned it for quite some time and it has been used, so excuse the photos because obviously the palette is used and not brand new. And before I continue on with the video, I had filmed this before and I went to edit it, but then I noticed that, guess what everyone? Urban Decay for Spring 2014 has come up with a new color for this palette to come in. It's called Native Naked Flushed, whereas this one is just the original Naked Flushed palette. So look out for Native depending on how similar it is. I'm probably going to purchase that one and have a review in the future, so look forward to that. But on to the Naked Flush palette. So again, you are getting a bronzer, highlighter, and blush. The bronzer is described as a sheer medium bronze satin. The highlight is described as a soft pink champagne shimmer. And the blush is described as a dusty rose satin with a hint of shimmer. I want to start off this review by commenting real quickly on the packaging for the palette. It's cute, it's compact, it's travel friendly, it can fit in your wallet. On the website it even states that it is travel friendly because they want you to be able to carry it around for all day touch up. I love the compact simply because it is most what I look for in compacts. It has a magnetic closure, which I adore. You open it up and there's a mirror and it's convenient in the sense that you get a blush, bronzer, and highlight all in one compact rather than having to carry around three products. So it's good in that aspect. The bronzer is a medium tan with slightly visible sheen and an orange brown undertone. The texture isn't what you'd expect from Urban Decay, like I said. It isn't smooth, it isn't soft, it isn't buttery like you get from their shadows. The bronzer is rather stiff but without being powdery, but it does apply flawlessly to the skin. The bronzer is sheer as described, so it gives the skin a natural bronzed look. Because I am an NW10-15, I feel my skin tone is too light for the bronzer. I feel like it comes up too orange on my skin. However, I do find a way to use it on lazy days when I don't feel like putting on makeup. I'll usually just throw it into my crease to add some definition and depth and just carry on my lazy day like that. So I still find a use for it, however, I don't think personally on lighter skin tones it would work very well on the cheeks. And darker skin tones, no, because it is sheer, like I said, it may not be as buildable as you would like it to be. It may not show up as much on your skin tone as you would like. The highlighter is a champagne color with a frosted finish. It is rather sheer, but it can be over applied very easily. Only the smallest amount is needed for a natural glow, so either a really, really, really fluffy brush or a very light hand or a combination of both will be necessary in order for you not to be a disco ball. Because of the frosty metallic finish, it can emphasize the look of pores, so beware if you have that issue. I don't have any issues like that, so I adore this highlight because it does leave the skin looking luminous and refreshed. The blush is a gorgeous dusty rose color with warm undertones and a mostly matte finish. Like the bronzer, the texture isn't quite what you'd expect from Urban Decay. It is quite firm, but it's not powdery. It applies smoothly to the skin, but it is a little bit more difficult to blend out. Whether you're wearing foundation or you're just applying it to bare skin, it does like to stick and it is a little bit tricky to diffuse the color and blend it out evenly all over your cheeks. The blush wore well over six hours before showing any noticeable fading. Yet again, depending on your skin tone, the blush may leave your cheeks looking more irritated than being flushed. The Naked Flush palette has said to work with every and any skin tone, however, I disagree with that. Like I said, lighter skin tones be warned that the bronzer may be a bit too orange or dark for your skin tone, as well as the blush may leave your cheeks looking irritated rather than nicely rosy flushed, and darker skin tones be warned because 
your cheeks can also look irritated as well as the bronzer being too sheer to build to a color to show up on your face. So overall, I think it really depends on what your skin tone is and if you feel like this palette could work for you. For me, this palette works really well. I'm in love with the highlighter. I practically use it almost every single day unless I reach for something else, but if I get stumped, I always grab for the highlighter in this palette. I like the blush on some days, but of course it'll have to be a day where my cheeks aren't already rosy. And like I said, because the bronzer is too dark for my skin tone, I have found a way to make it work for me by using it as an eyeshadow on lazy days. So it is a decent palette and I do recommend it as long as you think it is something that will work for you. So definitely try it out in stores before purchasing it because if you were just to order it on a whim, you may have to return it. So overall, I give it a 4 out of 5. As always, I'll have more details, photos, and swatches on my blog, so be sure to check that out. If you've picked up this palette or you are interested in it at all, let me know in the comments below. This video was kind of all over the place, but I hope you found it helpful in some way. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe to show your support. And I think that's about it. Have a fantastic day. Thank you to the person who requested this, and thank you to all of you for watching.